year the Oscars gave us feathers, lace, beads, poofs, and puffs. And if you're like me and Corey, of course, you watch the award shows and scan the tabloids to see what the stars are wearing. Now, the latest celebrity fashion is just a click away thanks to Pixaza.com. And in today's Start Me Up segment, Pixaza's founder and CTO, James Everingham, joins us. So, James, great to have you here on Bloomberg thanks, West. So how does it work? How does it work? Well, um, what we do is we make images interactive on publisher sites. So a consumer can simply mouse over an image that they're looking at, and if they want more information, um, we, display, we display the products that they're looking at. We match similar items, and uh, we, for example, if they're looking at uh, an outfit that they like and they want to learn more, they can get more information about that. Or even like a lamp or a desk in an interior design site or even the details of uh, a vacation spot and want to know more about that. So basically we enable that. So one of the most interesting things is the kind of data that you gather, like the most clicked on stars, the most clicked on looks, right? Yes, that's correct. We, since, uh, since we get in the flow of the images and we see what the, the sites are publishing and um, we, we know the content uh, from our crowdsourcing, we, we get to learn a lot of really interesting information. Um, about what people are interested in and, and, and actually what's going on on the web. Can you explain this crowdsourcing, how this really works? Yeah, absolutely. So what we, we're a lot like AdSense where we get in between uh, an, an advertiser and a publisher, um, but what we do is we use crowdsourcing to analyze the images. Uh, computers are not very good at doing image recognition and they can't apply judgment or style or taste. So what we do is we enable a crowd of fanatics uh, around a specific vertical and then the one that we're talking about today is fashion. So we have a, a bunch of people that are uh, demonstrated expertise in picking fashion items and um, they're working from their homes on the images that come through our system and uh, matching up the items and tagging them in ways which make them useful. Your investors include Google Ventures. You've got more than 17 million dollars in funding. Yes. How do you make money on this? Well, just like AdSense um, where uh, we, we, sit in, we sit in between the, uh, the advertiser and the publisher. So we have commercial relationships with hundreds of uh, merchants and advertisers. That are that basically are are paying us to put to put the uh, put the products uh, next to interesting images. And you're talking about companies like Us Weekly, Access Hollywood, right? Well, those are the publishers. So yes, we have Us Weekly, Access Hollywood, uh, TV Guide, uh, Parade. Um, lot, most of the large uh, fashion and uh, entertainment publications are using our technology. So I'm sitting at my desk looking at the site thinking of all the ways you might be you know, valuable for different sites. Is it really that simple just to add a site for you guys, just a, a click on a line of code? Um, yes, it is. Actually, it just takes a few minutes for a publisher to enable us no matter what the, no matter what the vertical is. Um, so it, it's as easy as editing their HTML page and the images become interactive within minutes of them enabling our technology. So what about the competitors, Image Space Media, Gum Gum? What do you have on those guys? Well, we actually do something really different. We actually do image recognition, and it's hard to do, and we use crowdsourcing. Um, so we actually place relevant information next to the items. Um, we're not just repurposing the real estate to sort of put advertising onto it. We're, we're generating content that's interesting to the audience. And we're a feature. The publishers that use us look at us like a feature. All right, thank you so much. James Everingham, CTO and founder of Pixaza. I'm going to go click on that after the show.